Hello everybody, welcome to Indigo Terra Odyssey. Hi you guys, just bear with my voice. I had so many full moon reads last night and I am coming down with whatever Ian and Hagen had as well and it's very taxing on the throat. But I just wanted to share for today's read these beautiful Caroline archetype cards. And our reading is going to be about what attributes do you have that are very um, helpful or even harmful to um, your peace of mind, others around you, you know, what can you embrace to have more light and balance in your world? And we have three choices. We have queen, we have pioneer, and we have mystic. And I'm probably going to have this be, um, a fairly quick reading because I know after 15 minutes, my voice just gives completely out. So, Number one, if you chose queen. Oh, also I wanted to have an announcement, you guys. Because there was such a huge response on winning the gold Zodiac coins, um, I'm like pretty much, I was going to initially do three winners, but I'm going to quadruple that into 12 and have the whole collection be a giveaway. One um, coin each to 12 people. So I was pulling in three or four winners in this group and then I will do four next week and then I will do four the following week just so I can get everything all mailed out. So come over to my Instagram, sparkrist 11 and join the contest. All you have to do is comment right below the contest or DM me the country you live in or the state and your zodiac sign. It's just a fun thing. What I do is I just mix up all the coins, grab one and then I scroll and the first one, I scroll it really fast and the first one that hits on your sign wins. So I announced the first four winners yesterday. So if you want to go check and see if you won this week's, have a peek. Okay, you guys. So number one is queen. So these light attributes are you radiate regal feminine power. She uses her benevolent authority to protect others. Now down below, there's also a shadow attribute. You become arrogant when authority is challenged, controlling, and demanding. I feel like a few mothers can fall into this aspect because um, it's very nice within the family unit to have respect and cohesive um, help, energy, and love. So every once in a while, you know, if you have rebellious teenagers and they just do whatever they want and they run roughshod over your house and leave dishes everywhere, it can be very irritating and um, sometimes, you know, we can catch ourselves saying things like, because I said so, or I'm your mother, and it sounds crazy. And that's sort of the queen attribute that we want to get things done. We like them done in a certain way. Every once in a while, I'm going to pause for my tea to you guys for my throat. Um, but we have to remember that oftentimes we can definitely it with teenagers if you sit down you really listen to them we can attract more teens with honey than vinegar for sure so I love that attribute and also um here's I'm going to be using the dragon cards too thank you so much to my sweet friend I love her lord as she sent these to me for my Christmas wish list so Archangel Gabriel his dragon brings purification self-discipline right now is going to speed your ascension and bring joy. You carry Archangel Gabriel's diamond. Now, this is saying right now, too, whenever we ask for help or guidance, it is always available to us. I'll give you a for instance. I'm, I, You guys hear me all the time say I never get sick. I always feel well. And I kind of knew that being in close proximity and caring for both Ian and Hagen, that you know there was a good chance. There were times they would just cough in my face when I put down their tea or whatever, and it was like inevitable. But I can actually talk myself into wellness, although my voice, I had to talk so much yesterday, is almost going away. I can envision myself in wellness, picture myself in peace, in a warm bath, walking on the beach, and I don't feel pain, even though I know it's like there, it's an echo of a, you know, painful throat or earache or a headache or whatever it comes of this um, ailment, but I can change it, and this is sort of what... This card is saying self-discipline. You're training your thoughts. You're telling yourself, I feel this way and I feel better. I'm feeling better every moment. 
as well as your capabilities. I mean, I think a lot of you guys are going to blow yourself away at Christmas, Hanukkah, and all of that with what you're capable of accomplishing and doing. And you know you're going to do it with ease and you're not going to be stressed. Again, you're saying this is a pleasure to be able to go out and buy gifts. It's an absolute pleasure to be able to go out and um, see my you know, family and friends is a pleasure on the holiday. The fact that I have money to go grocery shopping is a pleasure, right? I constantly remind myself of that because I have this ungodly um, distaste of supermarkets. I don't know what it is. I guess when you just combine the fact that you have to think about what's going to be prepared food-wise, usually crying children, people spazzing out. I, like, just do not love it. But lately, if I go with my son or daughter, they're so into, like, touching everything in the sh and the smells of pineapple and peaches that they make it a fun adventure so I feel that way and that's what's going to happen with you you're also going to be able to um, be really discerning with how you spend your time so you can have the best results again instead of being busy you're just going to be wonderfully productive you're like okay if I just sit down and I begin this for five minutes all of a sudden an hour goes by that paper is done that assignment is finished that connection is you know done with absolute focus so it's done well and you don't have to go back and do it again now your second dragon card is the golden i was I thought that said the golden orange peel the golden orange dragon oh great i'm hallucinating <laughs> expand your light for ascension be a peaceful warrior help those in need remember your magnificent i feel that this is definitely for a lot of you that chose this group i'm just gonna have a sip of tea your light workers, your healers, you're absolutely amazing. Um, I feel like a lot of you guys, you don't even realize your natural gifts or how wonderful it is to have you in other people's presence. Like you walk in a room and you, you light it up. You're ascending at a huge rate. I feel like a lot of you guys, you've already DM me and commented, wow, I can't believe, you know, um, my ears are ringing. I'm seeing all these birds, these animals, all these symbols, license plates, and they're amazing and they're so meaningful. And you guys are having insanely crazy like dreams where it's directing, guiding you, bringing you peace and it, they're very meaningful and I think part of that is that you're moving to a level where you're ready and, and our guides and our spirits know when we are so just remind yourself of that if anything is is going on and I feel like you have a storybook romance coming and heading your way that just popped in my head very vividly that some of you guys you're not going to believe what's going on it's like one of those things you're shopping and you're carrying packages or bags and you literally bump into somebody and drop it and it's like you lock eyes game over what something to that degree or you're at the holiday party and somebody brings a brother or a friend um sister what have you and you bump into them again it is like ha where have you been my whole life so a lot of you guys have that going on in a really cool way so that is you guys I'm going to keep this to um, a lesser degree so I can hang on to my voice so I love you guys thank you for your support and listen this is a hardship for me to do even though my voice sounds crazy this actually makes me feel a lot better I love to I'm um, really channel it brings up my spirits it brings up my vibration so although my voice sounds crazy that's just due to over speaking really yesterday new moons full moons forget it honey I'm talking from sun up to sundown so this is you know a labor of love and I absolutely love you guys thank you for all your support and please come over and see me on Instagram and join that gold coin contest you guys I'm doing like crazy giveaways this month of real ruby bracelets free readings um, all kinds of great stuff. I'm now working on this crown. I would love to throw in there too. A whole bunch of fun stuff. So come see me and follow me on Instagram and come get in on all the fun. It's awesome. So that is you guys. If you're new to my channel, welcome. Don't forget to press like and subscribe. This isn't my normal voice, but there you go. <laughs> all my links are down below if you need a private read or um, you want to go to my Etsy store or anything like that. Okay, now we're on to number two, which is pioneer. The light attribute is passion for doing and creating what has not been done before. The shadow attribute is compulsive need to keep moving on. Now, th let's start with a compulsive need because I often have this. I'm going to have a little sip. As a creative, um, I will start sometimes five, ten different projects making jewelry. And if I don't have the findings or little devices I need, I'll move on to something else. I'll be inspired by a photograph, a color or something. But what we don't want is a million loose ends hanging over our head going, you didn't complete this, you didn't complete that. So what we do is we finalize things, we 
bag them, put them away, check them off our list so we don't, you know, have all this overhang. Because creatives will do that. Their mind will be going, well, what needs work? What am I doing? What's coming next? And we do like some finalization because we like to see a completed project, right? You ever, like, I know one time I stranded something like 10 necklaces, yet I didn't add any clasps to them because I didn't have any. So um, when things would go off and then people would want to purchase them, I was like, oh, I have to clasp all these things. You know what I mean? So finalize things and cross your teeth so you feel really good. Now, the passion for doing and creating what has not been done before is your awesome little ingenious ideas where you mix colors that aren't um, normally seen together, patterns, ideas. Um, you're going to come up with some really innovative ideas. Also, just thinking outside of the box, some of you at school or work, you're going to see how things work in certain patterns and, you know, you're going to be able to really kind of like elucidate on those ideas further and expand them because you're a real original thinker as well. And people come to you, I feel like often because um, people who think very logistically, they can almost outthink themselves. You know what I mean? They get to a critical corner where they box themselves in. Where pioneer thinking and um, like abstract thinking does remarkable things. I'll give you an example. I worked for um, Walden Books and if there was a computer problem, I am the least technical computer person. People would come to me because I don't think like oh, it's going to be the whatever board or this and that. I literally go on instinct and I just start pressing, clicking and doing things almost like intuitively. And I could figure out weird things going on with the computers. And even Kim would be like, that is not something I would ever think of in a million years. Like, and I'm like, you know why? Because I don't overthink it. I don't know shit about computers. So it's like basically... Um, it's all instinct and things like that. And that's what's going to happen to you. Like you're going to be able to problem solve with healthy detachment and really be a great, great um, uh, asset to your job or your family. Now the orange dragon says, bring soul families and communities together, spread belonging, warmth, openness, bring people everywhere together. I feel like a lot of you guys are light workers. You might be YouTubers speakers, writers, whatever. I feel like you have a dimension to you that is very like super glue for other people. You work on people's things that are familiar with one another, that are warm, that are connected. Um, and I feel like universally you connect and bring people together through your spoken word, maybe through your music, maybe through your poetry. You know, I feel like you're a pioneer too for the common man, people that work hard, that um, have good ethics. <coughs> things of that nature and what's going to go on with this is I feel like you're going to reach a really kind of cool pin pinnacle where people are going to start paying attention and <clears throat> you're going to become in demand for your skill sets. All right, I'm going to place this down and have a sip of warm tea for a sec because I feel cough coming on. <coughs> That's a funny thing with colds. I don't let them debilitate me, but I do hate when anything interferes, interferes with my throat or speaking. Any who berries. <laughs> you have the emerald dragon. I love this one. My favorite cards in the deck. I just love it. The flowers and the dragon. And I feel like green, red used to be my favorite color, but it's weird. Just over the last couple months, the green everything is attractive to me. I find it very restful. And also as we move into the winter months, I miss green. I miss like the verdant green trees. I love pine, the smell of pine. It just is grounding, earthy, and helpful. And being a fire sign, I think that's initially probably why red is my favorite color, but I am definitely into some grounding earth energy now. So this is wonderful because the Emerald Dragon brings in healing and cosmic abundance. Good fortune is coming for you. So let your thoughts support your divine perfection. Align with your fifth dimensional blueprint. So that's saying your highest self, your highest vibration. If somebody tries to provoke or trigger you, think of like, and just think of yourself in like the Buddha pose, sitting Indian style with your hands out doing a mudra, feeling relaxed and going, does this deserve my attention? Does this deserve a reaction? I only so much energy to give and don't, I want to give it to things that are positive and that form a better blueprint for my life, right? Have you ever said or done anything like directly after you regret it and you're like, damn, I just fell into that trap, that trigger trap where somebody knows how to push your buttons. When you, if you've been married a long time or you have a sibling, you'll know what I'm talking about. Like people just know. And because we go in subconscious patterns and reactions, sometimes we don't even think about it. our brain just goes, I already know how to do this. I'm going to spaz the hell out. <laughs> so give me a minute. Okay. And then you're like, ah, off the deep end going nuts. So 
Um, I don't usually allow myself to get to those places. I have a very, very long leash, but once um, I'm off that, you better just just move out of the country because I just become like the Tasmanian devil and I have quite a repertoire of words so I'm I'm coming in for the kill I mean Ian every once in a while I was like I can't believe that came out of your mouth and I'm like well deal with it (laughs) you know what I mean and a lot of people know this that have long leashes they don't say anything they don't say anything like you know I'm mellow 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 and I'm like okay enough the enough switch goes on and then you lose it but this is funny because I feel like with all this good fortune coming for you, your thoughts are going to always turn to the divine, the restful, the peaceful, the helpful, all of that. And in, in turn is going to help you to an immense degree be able to figure things out because your brain isn't convoluted and overloaded with thoughts of revenge and murder. <laughs> You know what I mean? Like, you're like, I'm going to get back to them. I used to work with people that were narcissists that would get me so twisted that I, I couldn't perform simple tasks when I was near them because of the distraction of them, right? And then, you know, I really had to go into a meditative state and say, you know, what? this is exactly what those type of people or energies desire. They are like a terrible void that tries to pull you in. So you're going to be so above that by saying, you know, what? I deserve to be peaceful and calm. I deserve to be really high functioning and feeling good and feeling vibrant. And the way I can do that is just kind of create a blue mist over all this unpleasantness of people they're going to get what's coming to them you know they don't deserve my focus attention or anything what I'm going to do is just win big and keep it moving and that's what's happening I feel like this group you do have money coming to you in a really wonderful way I feel that you're going to express your soulful insights to people and really be filled with robust, beautiful energy, strength, skill, discipline, toughness of will. I mean, stoicism, self-sacrifice, you're conquering your ego right now. I see all kinds of amazing things, really visionary type of stuff. Like you're going to have the capacity to envision what's not conceivable to others right now. And you're going to proclaim a vision without regard for your like personal gain you want it for other people that light workers kind of communion like I want what's good for everybody and people are gonna love that and love you for it and want to kind of like pay you a tribute because it's amazing so I'm loving that energy for your group too beautiful if you're new to my channel welcome don't forget to press like and subscribe and come see me over on instagram and win your gold coin i'm doing for for this week they just got announced for next week and for the following week but it it doesn't matter when you comment under the link of the contest because um i just take it after i scroll down and choose then it's like dude there you go and i'm i'm doing a ton of contests you guys you're gonna be excited all this stuff i'm probably gonna do next week a silver um kruger and which is one ounce of real silver you know you've heard of gold kugarans but the silver ones are beautiful and I feel like with my old gypsy heart I love to hand out silver I just feel like I love it like I'm so attracted to silver that I wish that's the form of money we used right like also like the old viking blood of me is like give me silver they're so beautiful I'll actually um I'll I'll post one on Instagram so you can see it because they are so gorgeous. And I love the, I'm pretty sure the animal on it is a type of antelope. It's amazing. So anywho, Love and Light 2 actually looks like those horns right there. Um, Again, go check all my links below if you need a private read or anything. Good luck to you guys. You have so much good fortune coming. So now we're on to number three, which is mystic, light attribute. This revels in the intimate union with the divine. Okay, the shadow attribute is delusional rapport with the divine. So let me address that first. That's basically where we get so and to our third eye chakra that we forget to ground and deal with things in the 3D, right? Like paying bills and eating well, stuff like that, because we're, we're fixated on that. We actually, we have to watch all composites of our life, right? We have to take care of our 3D bodies and take showers and eat well, and watch our dental. I'm so big on like oral hygiene. I'm like, I freak out when I'm like, how can you have all these beautiful teeth and you just don't take care of me? You eat sugar all the time, stuff like that. Um, you know, and it happens sometimes I will get in such a beautiful, um, peaceful place where I feel like it's absolute nirvana and I don't want to come back down to the 3d and eat and do things. That's why even though, you know, my voice is 
not so great. I look forward so much every morning to do these readings for you guys that I immediately started to feel better. And even now I feel like my voice is getting more empowered. This is my power source to connect to you guys. You guys are doing such amazing things. You're blowing my mind. You're writing your own books. You're opening your own businesses. You're spreading your word. You're telling your truths. You're a you're understanding new gifts that are coming to you. You guys blow my mind. And that energy is contagious. It's elevating. It's motivating. It's all of that. And so you're going to revel in this. You're going to understand divine is speaking to you. Forget about the crazy synchronicities that people are seeing in their animal guides and all of that. It's off the hook what is happening right now in 2020. I don't even know if I'm going to be able to answer or look at the influx of comments because you guys are not even going to I know what the hell hit you. I feel like it's like, this is how I equate. And this is when I do my channeling. I have, um, it's like a ticker tape. It's information. And there's a gatekeeper, all the angels, archangels, everything that you're calling on to help. They, they're only allowed out in certain amounts and to contribute in certain ways. Otherwise you literally feel like you are going crazy. Like if they spoke in a normal voice, all of them are a couple or a few at once, you'd feel like you were going bad, batty. So there's a system to the distribution of energy and, and messages that are brought to you. And mine is almost like, um, it's like I see the words in my head, right? It's like a ticker tape. So that's how I'm able to channel. And that's sort of what's going to happen to you. And your different clairs are going to wake up. You're going to ha you're just going to know something like right away. Like hmm, the energy on this person is not really kind of conducive to my mental health. So no, you know, looks like trouble, bye bye, things of that nature. And sometimes we have to um, forego what looks like a delicious meal due to the fact that we know, you know, it's going to give us indigestion, same things with people. So this, you're going to know all this, you're going to know intrinsically what's good for you. Now you have the rainbow dragon, it says the rainbow dragon brings a leap of joy and opens new doors. So have trust, rediscover wisdom, expect miracles, accept opportunities. I do this on a daily basis. What I do is when I wake up, I'm like, what miraculous things are going to come to me today? What am I going to be able to hear, discover colors, textures, food, people, all this stuff. I get excited about it because we do need to apply passion and excitement to our life to look forward to things, right? We don't want to be just like everything is same old, same old. No, it's same old, same old from our perspective, right? But if we're creating and that magic comes directly through source, everything looks friggin' really cool and dynamic and amazing. The ideas that come to us, you know, you ever just been like fishing or walking or doing something that's peaceful by water. You get these great ideas. You get these funny notions. You get these poems, these lyrics, all of these things that source working through you to create this beautiful yet unheard, um, lyric yet pain, yet unpainted picture, things like that. So you, all these new doors are going to open for you because you're looking for them now. You're aware, you're awake, which is really cool. Again, I, I once posted this thing about, you know, why do I, I cry so much? And it was like the same reason that I laugh so much because I'm paying attention. When I, if I put on like, <laughs> forget if I put on anything that has to do with animal shelters and rescues and them being so happy in their new homes, I just am like Niagara Falls. I just start crying like crazy. It's one of those things where you're going to have deep joy and meaningful experiences with people. And when you're at places and when you're doing things because you're absolutely present, you're, you're having trust that the universe is going to bring you all this stuff. And I feel like some of you might have felt like you were at a standstill. You felt like you were, you know, on your spiritual path, humming along beautifully. And then all of a sudden, you're like, oh crap, I kind of reverted to some old behaviors, maybe jealousy, envy, boredom, whatever. And, um, you know, we should never be bored with what's available to us in the universe right now. There's no way we should ever be bored. And you're going to rediscover that wisdom that, oh, it's, it's within me any moment to reach out, pull in some new information and enrich yourself. And you're going to be able to do that. You know, you're going to free yourself and others from outmoded beliefs. You're going to release these negative thought patterns. I mean, you're going to be like the liberator and you're also going to help other people do that. I feel like you're going to be able to transcend any little problems. I feel like also you, you have a gift of, you know, mediation that um, 
you have a gift for negotiating fairness and strategy in your personal and professional life could because you have respect for both sides so that's really going to help you right now as well and your last one is the silver dragon it illuminates your potential with higher light so access your untapped resources look into your soul see higher possibilities again that's that pause moment i equate this kind of like with the hanged man when you stop for a moment because when we rush forward you know that saying only fools rush in when we rush we don't see all the dynamic little aspects of what's going on but the silver dragon is the opposite everything has bright illumination around it and you're going to see all the potential that you have to help fix mend or grow a situation you have untapped resources where all of a sudden you start studying something you're like wow i pick up languages really easily wow i do calligraphy beautifully i didn't think i had that look into your soul see these possibilities practice things and you're going to amaze yourself group three so beautiful energy yay if you're new to my channel welcome you guys don't forget to press like and subscribe my name is melanie i know normally have a normal voice but yesterday was a full moon so I talked my voice right out of my face <laughs> so all my links are down below please come see me on Instagram and join all the fun and giveaways it's crazy town over there it's so much fun but December is definitely the month to give back and I love and appreciate you guys so love and light